All right. Well, I live here in Florida, you know, I, but I'm up in the north. And up around the Tallahassee area, we didn't, we got a little breeze. And I have one of those little twigs like that that are floating around in my yard. A pain in the ass on a way to do that. I have a one of those squeezer grabber things, you know. And uh, the rubber fell off years ago, so I put a couple of bolts on it. But it works pretty good at going around, you know, so I don't have to bend over and pick them up. So I take a bucket and... Anyway, who gives a shit about that? <laughs> I don't know the fuck I'm talking about. Well, I, I was going to talk about the Jenny Thomas thing, but I just got a <clears throat> an alert on this new program I got that's called uh, um, Moxie, you know, that you can put on your phone. And uh, it's a killer thing. I mean, it's it tells me what um, the sen my senators voted for today. <laughs> You know, which wasn't good, or what they didn't vote for, which always isn't good, or bills they're trying to push. You know, I think I think uh, Rubio's got one, um, and he wants to yank the <clears throat> provision for negotiating health care for Medicare to negotiate health care. He wants he he's, he wants a bill that takes that part of Biden's bill out out. Huh. Thanks, Mark. Marco. Shit. Who would want to have Medicare negotiate with med with the drug company so they could get lower prices to the It's just absurd. Anyway, I was thinking about the the women of uh, Iran, all of that that's going on, and um, I'm not really running too many parallels, but I I, th I think that these women's movements that actually codify and the women get together, because women know how to get together really from all angles, not all of them. I mean, there's Ginny Thomas, of course, who's just a Muddy as a fruitcake. Actually, I'd like to talk about her sometime tonight, maybe. But, um, like the the women of Iran are just, you know, they've just had enough. I saw pictures of these old clerics that are just, they're like ancient, falling apart, you know. They look like me with turbans on, and they're, and they're all staunchy and serious. Oh, one, you know, it's just like, well, you want to throw a cream pie in their face, you know. So I, man, I get it. The, they've just had enough. So, but apparently, the people of Iran have taken over a couple of cities. They've bombed these. Um, Police, the whatever they're called, you know, the uh, the ones that killed that poor young woman for her hair not being right, the morality police. And um, they're starting to get, they've, they've got hints that they're getting backed by the um, <coughs> military. So that's something because the military guys are going, well, you know, if we got to go in, we might as well go in on the side of the people. But of course, usually that means that then the military cruises in and some freaking general or colonel, you know, ends up being their you know, you know, I don't know. So we this all could have been stopped so many years ago when I ran the first nation in the Middle East in Africa to have a democracy. And we didn't like it because they weren't going to sell oil to uh, um, 
<coughs> you know, the big companies around the world, you know, Standard, I guess, at the time, and I think BP was in on it, you know, the British, I don't know if Shell, which is a Swedish company, I don't know if they were in on it. Um, anyway, uh, th that's how, you know, that's the roots of all, all these problems. Um, you know, I'm hoping that Americans, the American empire learns its lesson because if it doesn't, I don't know. So, um, of course, we, um, the democratic country, they, they were going to have, I think, some sort of a parliamentary system of some kind, They were, but it was going to be democratic and representative of the people. But they wanted their own resources for their com country. They did not want to give their oil to uh, Mobile Oil or whoever else to just do whatever the hell they wanted. Woohoo! America didn't like that. Shit, no. So we sent the CIA in there, overthrew them, set up this ridiculous Shah of Iran. Now, during the Shah, um, you know, he, which is like, you know, he was the king. He made all the decisions. He didn't really make all the decisions. His freaking oil companies made all the decisions. But um, Iran, you know, became a lot more secular. They could do what they wanted. They'd go down boogie. They had nightclubs and bands and shit. And there was all kinds of art, intellectualism, you know, culture. I'm sure there was a lot of fundamentalist you know, Islamic people. But uh, in general, in the big cities like Tehran, Tehran and stuff, I mean, it was uh, like any modern city. And the trade-off to that was that, uh, well, we pretty much did what this one dictator did, wants us to do. And then um, all the oil goes to the United States to do with what they will. None of the oil goes down to the people. After a while, I didn't like that. So then they got into a giant revolution. And, um, you know, stuck these stupid Islamic fundamentalists in. So they've been living under that oppression for 43 years and now the, the, the young people are going you know f screw all this shit we you know you know uh, this one young woman I was listening to was going you know it's not just the hajibas that's you know, just a symbol you know it's the whole repression what we're supposed to do they your husbands can kill you if they want to and get away with it and you know it's just uh, Women are just treated like chattel, you know. And um, I don't think that um, even most of the men don't like it, you know. It's just these certain, you know, rich, wealthy, political pedophiles that seem to be everywhere. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you know, if they're pedophiles. I just, I always throw that in because it's so funny when people get that crazy about it, you know. But anyway, um, so, and here we are. So now it's kind of, it looks to me like women are kind of standing up all over the world. I don't know why. Of course, you never see it on the American news. You can only get it from watching TikTok or some British uh, television or, you know, going on the internet and uh, YouTube has a lot of shit, you know. Uh, the BBC's always pretty good, and um, there's some international stations I've tried to watch, but you know, um, Telemundo in English is actually pretty good, and uh, um, Al Jazeera I'll watch from time to time, unless they they're looking, the, and they pretty much stay out of um, Arabic, Islamic politics in general. Uh, it's pretty good of it for them. I mean, they just kind of report what's going on in the world. 
And, um, you know, you got, of course, you got to take everything with a grain of salt, right? Poof. Doesn't mean it's all a conspiracy. Oh, anyway, back to uh, Iran. I'm just uh, amazed. So, this kind of parallels what's going on in uh, in Russia, right? I mean, they're, um, this old fart Putin's there trying to have rebuilt some kind of stupid empire from the past, you know, and the people are finally going, well, that's stupid. Why don't we just be a, good, a nice modern country and have our, you know, I, I think people are finally going, why don't we just create a, a, a paradise that this world could be? Why do we got to make it such a, the whole place is just a giant fucking hellhole right now, really. I mean, there's still some birds singing. We now and then I'll see a camellia out in my front yard. That makes me happy, but good God. It's unbelievable. Anyway, I ran there um, uh, Saturday, October the 4th, uh, 1st, I think. Um, everybody, they're supposed to be having big um, celebrations all over the world. Not celebrations. They're, you know, people are going to go out in support of the new Iranian revolution. And I kind of think that um, we're having something similar in this country. I've, uh, the way I've seen a lot of the women, you know, this uh, anti-abortion kind of nonsense, you know, that's going on. And, um, and in other countries, you know, as well, there's just some stuff going on. It's kind of sneaky. There, some, there's some, some kind of crap going on in uh, um, uh, China that they're being real secretive about. Anyway, and of course, you know, Ukraine, shit, there's women fighting there. But I think Ukraine is the stand for the, all of Europe, Western civilization to look at and go, look, you know, if we're going to save a democratic ideal, you know, and if we're going to really and truly save our planet, you know, we're going to all have to come together. I would really, you know, me personally, I would love to see this world not be, you know, isms. You know, just get rid of that bullshit, you know. Good, honest people do the work of our governance, and we elect them, you know, and they have to earn it somehow or another. And they should be tested, like in, uh, you know, um, you know, like in tribal cultures, uh, Turtle Island, I mean, they took, um, you know, you had to earn your way into being an elder that was dispensing knowledge or wisdom in a way that, you know, was respected by the people. These are simple concepts. I don't understand why we can't just do these things, you know. Anyway. Back to the women of Iran. Let's support them any way you can. Support the people of Ukraine any way you can. Support the women of this country any way you can. And whatever we do, vote blue. Okay, buenas noches. Adios.